Coming up on First at Four, Governor Bashir declares a state of emergency as an Arctic blast is expected to slam the state tomorrow. And fire officials urge you to use caution while you try to stay warm. Plus, we are tracking rain, snow, and bitter cold with our next weather system. That full first alert forecast coming up as Mountain News First at Four starts right now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, Governor Andy Bashir issued a state of emergency this morning as rain, snow, and brutally cold temperatures make their way into the Commonwealth. This is a first alert weather day. And meteorologist Cameron Aaron joins us now with the very latest. Cameron. Yes, yeah, Steve, I do want to stress we're not looking at any weather issues today. Actually, the weather today looks pretty good out there, but we are looking at our next weather system by Thursday and also into your Friday and lingering into your Christmas weekend as well. Let's go over to UVA wise looking at plenty of sunshine, only a few high level clouds back in the distance and current temperature actually near average in the upper 40s. So not too bad across the region today. And as many people start to hit the roads for the Christmas holiday weekend, also looking good over at the Mountain Parkway at Slade. Current temperature 49 degrees, but check this out. Many people actually in the 50s right now. 51 for London, 54 in Somerset, sitting at 53 right now over in Manchester. And the good news, we are dry on radar. But we cannot say the same for our friends back towards the north and west. Already some snow over portions of the Dakotas into Nebraska and Iowa as well. And that storm system is moving into our direction. And check out that cold weather into the negative numbers right now for those northern states. And that Arctic air is moving into the region. That full first alert forecast plus that first call for snow coming up in just a little bit. Steve. All right, Cameron, thank you. State officials are preaching preparedness before this winter storm hits Kentucky. Governor Bashir outlined steps the state is taking to respond to the winter weather. Jim Stratman continues our coverage. Every official who took to the podium this morning, from the governor all the way to the Kentucky Transportation Secretary, said the same thing. Now is the time to be prepared. It's going to be really cold, dangerously cold. Uh, cold enough to give uh, people frostbite uh, very quickly, uh, cold enough to be dangerous for your animals. So uh, take care of yourself, take care of each other, take care of your families. The forecast calls for a steep drop in temperatures Thursday night into Friday, and officials say that can do a number of things. Number one, it can create life-threatening conditions for anyone outside or without heat. To combat this, the governor said that each county should have at least one warming center up and running by tomorrow. He also said that the state parks will serve as backup warming centers if needed. The rapid drop in temperatures could also create a flash freeze, making road conditions very dangerous. Governor Bashir, Transportation Secretary Jim Gray, and Kentucky Emergency Management Director Jeremy Slinker all agreed that you should stay home once that freeze hits unless you absolutely have to go out. This winter storm, this Arctic front, by all indications, presents significant potential hazards. Don't get complacent when you hear that the expected snowfall might be fairly light. Officials said that you do still have time to prepare. You have today and most of tomorrow to make sure that you go through your checklist. Make sure that you have a plan in place, you have supplies on hand, and you know where your nearest warming center is just in case you do have to evacuate. Reporting in Frankfurt, Jim Stratman, WKYT. The governor said that special teams will be going out to visit areas that have been impacted by natural disasters like last year's tornadoes and this summer's flooding here in eastern Kentucky to make sure that those Kentuckians have what they need to get through the cold. As we prepare for the bitter cold temperatures, do you have everything to keep your family safe and warm? Fire officials say this time of year, they say a lot of mistakes people make while trying to stay warm. Here are some tips and reminders they recommend. Has your HVAC system been serviced this year? If not, you should schedule one. And if you use a wood stove or fireplace, make sure the chimneys are clean because buildup could cause a fire. Do you use enough wood, that a, a, a kind of wood that has a lot of creosote buildup? And have you had it clean lately? If you haven't had it clean, you may be too late to get it before this weekend, but it's not too late for the next time. 
so I would get it scheduled now. You should never leave a fire or space heater unattended and you should unplug heaters before leaving. With the bitter cold heading our way for the Christmas weekend, Hazard City Manager Tony Eversoll says they are taking precautions and preparing ahead of time in hopes of preventing some of the common water issues that usually come with freezing temperatures. What we do is we try to keep more water into the storage tanks. Uh, we try to keep our storage level up. That way, if there is a break, then hopefully uh, less customers are, are affected. Everso says they are asking for folks to not leave their faucets dripping or water on because it could lead to a lack of water and makes it much harder to recover. Coming up on First at Four, what one mom thought could never happen did, and it's what some are calling a miracle. Plus, Arctic air works into the region just in time for the holiday weekend. That full first alert forecast coming up.